Alright guys, welcome to another vlog. We're here, it's a Saturday. We had all kinds of plans for Saturday, but they all fell through. Um, <laughs> so we're going to be doing some work on the 86 now. Um, as you guys know, I had that bit of a bingle in Sydney and uh, did a number on my front quarter. So we're going to attempt to had a Lara Bingle. We're going to attempt to straighten some of that out today, um, as well as uh, other things getting ready for a bit of a rally day tomorrow. Not taking the 86 rallying, obviously. Um, but I'm going to get this out here and um, get it cleaned up. So I just pulled the 86 in. I just remembered to tell you guys about something because it's always a thing that like I love. We've got our pop, as you guys know, we've got our pop sockets, and they actually come with these little holders, which I absolutely love. So you put your phone in and can't go anywhere. It's in there now. So even in my race car, I've got the pop socket set up. And honestly, it makes things so much easier when I'm in the race car. And I've done a fair few events now with this in there and it doesn't go anywhere. Um, I've been off the track and all kinds of stuff, big backies and whatnot. I haven't lost my phone, so can't recommend it enough, guys. But we'll jump out now. We're gonna have to get this quarter panel off and uh, see what the old boy can do with it. All right, quarter panel off time, I believe. I think I got all the bolts. The Lost headlight the there. Yeah, it's coming out the headlight. There we go. That is all yours, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Look at that, beautiful. There's no rust or anything under here. It's actually really neat. Just rubber. <laughs> Standard. Being at a racetrack, you see all the rubber built up on my tyres because the uh, last track I drove this at was Sydney Motorsport Park, so it was... Um, very much covered in motorsport rubber and whatnot everywhere so um yeah i guess it's a matter of you having a play oh we want to keep this quarter panel straight i'm really just throw stuff <laughs> i've really created more of it <laughs> oh that is a save there you go um no it doesn't it's not, it's definitely if you had a saw it when it happened like it was proper cave like the quarter this was like oh i would have cried yeah okay so I got it to the here without taking it off, but then it obviously needs a touch up in the right way. A bit of, a bit of dying in the yep. back. And so. so I might get a A frame to put this on and do a time lapse of you doing this. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> All right, so while over there digging into my front quarter, I'm going to start digging into this area here, which wasn't an accident. It was me being ignorant, popping my tires, and then ruining my paint. So I'm completely to blame for this. I just couldn't help myself and being a solid axle car you always kill your outside edges before your inside edges um, just the nature of it I guess for the solid axle car yeah um, so yeah anyway I'm gonna grind this up get it all back to metal and then put some well, I really need bog so I'll work it out I want to clean it up first and then I'll ask the man of the moment for uh, some advice on where we go from there, but I might just put some etch primer on it just to stop it from rusting. Filming, you just point, go stand back over there. Turn around, point it at Daddy. Yep. Got it? Boston can. You want to go get the wheel? Yeah. Alright, so this is where we've got it back to. Back to bare metal, cleaned up. Definitely going to need a skim of bog on here. So I think there was a skim already, wasn't there? Yeah. On this, you scum, uh, scum. gave both sides a bit of a skim. So we'll need to re-skim this side, clean up this edge to get it mint again. That's a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> the man have a look see what I've, I've just cleaned it up for now do you want me to chuck some etch on it or something for now yeah definitely we need something to insulate it yeah from the environment no that's fine man see this is two mil thick yeah yeah so, it's just definitely thicker stuff yeah yeah so, um so I mean, i'll get some etch primer now and just hit it with etch primer and um yeah i don't think then wait a, for the next stage i don't think that you've moved the guard whatsoever with no, the tire. no it was it's just, just tire no it was only tire yeah, yeah. slap like I said, outside edge is what you always kill, so you get the outside edge slap. And yeah. it's only a little slap, it's not like a big D-lamp. Yeah. 
No, that's so. fine. The body hasn't moved whatsoever. All right. Well, uh, you've had a win. Yes. <laughs> Sorry to tell me. To be fair, the prime is pretty much the same colour as the colour. <laughs> Just tint the primer and add the colour of the car. This is the first car painted the primer. No. This is the uh, Logan Special. Oh, I'll still pull it off and it's like, oh yeah, it's fixed. I learned the hard way not to leave this tape on. Oh no, a bit darker, a bit lighter. But it'll stop it from um, rusting again. Oh. Truly, I just wanna be a bread getter. Why you always trying to be a tough nigga? Fuck around and really be a dead nigga. I've been on 10 since at least five. In the dirty south where the heat thrive. Pandemic sending niggas six feet. So, homie, I'ma need me at least five. Feeling like none of y'all safe bets. Lately, I can't even have safe sex. Baby, I ain't fucking with your neighborhood. I ain't even talking about the latex. Ride around town with it. All right, Bradley is. You're pretty well happy where you're at so far? Yeah, I need to put a little bit of undercoat and a little bit of guide in there so I can see if there's any highs and lows. Yep. But yeah, there shouldn't be any more than a mil or two there. Yep, and I'm pretty sure I've left all my painting stuff at Broomstick Fat. Actually, I feel like it's in my other shed. Let's go look at my other shed first. <laughs> yeah, no, I was wrong. It's at Jamie's, so. We're gonna head down to Jamie's now and see if we can find it there. If it's not there, it's at the track. So hopefully it's at Jamie's. Can't have that. Doing that for me. <laughs> I'd go nice on the 90. That would look alright on that. Yeah. Alright, so here at Broomstick, just gonna go see if we've got this paint stuff here. Hopefully I do. I rock up and he's got the gurney out cleaning some schmicko rims. Are they for sale or? It's <laughs> always so give a little poke. For your car? Yeah, they got them on. On the 33? Yeah. Oh. I've them off TJ for a little bit. Well, my car, my one, the GDR wheels go up for restoration. Mm. Not bad. Well, we got back here to finish it. I put the, uh, I cut basically a guide coat or a primer coat down and it's just started raining super a lot of moisture in the air so we're going to call it quits on that um i don't know we'll pick up this vlog again when i work out what i'm doing yeah, 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 yeah. anyway Dad, oh, yeah. this car is called the scarlet pink well because it's a scarlet pink yeah. That's a scarlet, but you can't see it properly. Right. So, what do we got? Oh, yeah. Yay! From like a week and a half ago. Yeah, I've been waiting to Boy. have a video where I had some time to fit this in because, um, yeah, apparently these are meant to be some cool ones. It's from um, Jake Larkins and his missus. Uh, Liz. No, no relation to. No. The other guy. The other Larkins. Um, I'm not sure if wife yeah whatever but thank you very much and she's apparently really excited for me to open these i want to open them too mom i'm helping i'm helping well, it's really hard t t today junior come on you can't do it like that stuff it's just a tough rip it open there's a note read the note first do you think, fam? My family and I love watching your content. Please never stop. Do my hubby loves your merch. We thought we'd send some Hot Wheels cars. Never stop doing what you're doing. It's great. Sadly, we live in Victoria, and we'd love to meet you all. Think, fam is awesome. Our kids love it. P.S. Please consider making singlets well, as my wifey loves the them. Well, we want. Actually, had a few people say we should make. Next summer, we'll make singlets. Yeah. Yeah. No donut point now. Car. All right. I'm all right. I want the donut car. Um, I want the donut, donut car. Donut drifter. Oh, that's it. Oh, 
Oh. Um, Scarlett, you already have this one out of the packet. Oh, this one. Oh, I don't. What's that one? <laughs> Lethal Diesel. I haven't seen that one. I already had this one. Yeah. Mommy, this one's not yeah. cool for us because we already have it. Rip Rod. Oh. We already we have We do already that. have that one. Um, Corvette Grand Sport Mom, Roadster. Ooh, pretty this cool. One. And a transformer. And it's a Zombot. So this is a one Zombot? of the yeah. So a uh, Rockman Sockham. So they'll eventually do the blue one as well. Oh, and they're meant to stand yeah, up, that's obviously. A oh, yeah, it's a yeah. Rockman Sockham. It's a transformer. Do they work? Do you um, like, yeah. Do they? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. It's a car. That's and pretty if cool, you though. Pick it up. It's yeah. A transformer. That's sick. This one's mine. Oh, so thank you very much to Lace and Jake, was it? Lace and Jake from Vic. All right, sweet. Thank you very much, guys. Very much appreciated. What? Don't judge me. You don't get to have Hot Wheels much these days. You know, you could just let me go and buy the dash. Yeah. You could just let me go buy the dash. Let me get a pokey machine. Alright guys, it's currently 5.30 in the AM. Uh, Russ has got to my house at like 5.30, well just before 5.30. On the way down to the track, um, because as you know, the other vlog I was talking about this rally day we've got coming up. And uh, yeah, we've got to run down the track because we've got to not only load the car, but replace a dry shaft. So I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. Um, yeah, it's very, very early and I'm tired. Russ is tired. He's had like three and a half hours sleep as well. Um, but really good day ahead. All right, so we're just going to hook the Subaru up, drag it out onto dry. Would it be dry? Yeah, just onto flat grounded stuff. And then we're going to go grab the key so we can steer it and get the forklift because we're going to change a dry shaft before we bother putting it on the trailer. But we've got a forklift to do that, so it's going to be good. Alright, so we've got the trusty Subaru. We just need to um, lift it up and change a dry shaft. And Russ is the man on the job. He's got all the, all the good tools. So I'm going to get this thing lifted up and change the shaft. Go on, Russ. Go. Get her on. I can't see it. <laughs> you just broke the window out. Oh, I was trying not to do that. <laughs> I can't see it. Go on. Yeah, that'll do. Lift up. Come on. I definitely should have done this. <laughs> um, slide them in or they're too far open. Uh, should have broken the front windscreen. That's not good. Oh, go in. Try again. <laughs> I couldn't see the time. Yeah. Hold on. Yep. I'm gonna leave Russ to handle the shaft job because I know he loves a good shaft. <laughs> I'm gonna go hook up my trailer before he kills me or throws a hammer at me or something. So, we decided to make things a bit safer, level the car out because it was hanging. Can't believe we put a hole in the windscreen, Russ. Yeah. You can do many things, drive a forklift is not one of them. Uh, I didn't have any guidance, thank you. Oh, look, I was there for moral support more than guidance. Is that it? Already out? Yeah. Is the other one harder to get in though because it's all there or? No. Oh, well. 
When that goes in, I want to hear it go. <laughs> <laughs> More hammer? Nah. Press the trombone. Uh -huh. oh, stop headbutting stuff. Oh, it's the first time you've headbutted something. That's why I said stop doing it. It's not, not good any times. Already had a headache. What's the condition of the ball drones? Are they alright or? Yeah, they're pretty mint. Pretty mint? So I wouldn't want anything like breaking. No, not at all. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, the longer this car lasts, the more fun we can have. So, spent 150 bucks, was it, for a new shaft? So, but this car's paid for itself a hundred times over with the amount of fun we've had in it here. It should, for all intensive purposes, be dead a long time ago, especially being a Subaru. Has it got water in it? It hasn't had coolant in so, it. So yeah, any fluid in the it coolant. hasn't had any coolant for nearly two years, guys. And we absolutely thrashed it around here for a fair while, and I don't know, there's nothing while. to get hot because there's no water. <laughs> huh? It was a chase can car for a while. Yeah. I didn't even realise it didn't have water. I know it, uh, for a while it didn't have water, because I was sitting here looking at the front of the car like, oh, we better clean out the mud so it has, you know, so, so it won't get hot. <laughs> Alright, that's us guys. Wheel is going on. Now, I don't want to leave you guys with a hard on, but I'm going to wrap it up right there. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Make sure you tune in to tomorrow's vlog for the insane shenanigans meeting up with a bunch of uh, well-known YouTubers and social media guys and it's a bunch of Commodores, a bunch of Falcons, a Magna. We're going rally bashing guys. Stay positive, peace out, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog.